Good evening. And just before our main item tonight, Athletics News just in from Haringey that Vladimir Flitch has just walked off with the 500 metres. As a result, he's being sued by the North Thames Gas Board. <laughs> But well, I'm sure everyone knows that this year the 19th Olympic Games are taking place in Mexico City, but a sensational piece of news has just been released. For the first time, a small contingent of Scottish athletes will be travelling to Mexico to compete in their own national events. And leading this rather unusual team is the Scottish women's caber-tossing champion, Fiona McLeish. Thank you, Fiona. And the top of the caber to you, Mr. Buff. Amazing how much younger people look in black and white. Now it's time for our regular review of the commercials of our year. And this is what some of us were queuing up to buy in 1968. I love having you babysit for me, Jenny. Free on Saturday as well. Oh, I'm free every night. With this. What's the problem? Dandruff? I've got something new for that. Head and shoulders. Head and shoulders? Oh, a shampoo. The ones I've tried never seem to do anything for my dandruff. This is a new one, and it worked for me. Just use it regularly. Do try it. it smells nice. Great lather. Great if it worked. You look nice tonight. New sweater. New hair, more like. I could never miss that before. Your head and shoulders really did work. So tonight's for free. All right, I'll pay you double on Saturday. Saturday? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm booked. With a fella. I see. Well, just keep your head and your shoulders. New from Procter & Gamble, Head & Shoulders. A dandruff shampoo that works. You know, some people think formica, de <laughs> formica decorative laminate is difficult to apply. In fact, it's easier to apply than to say. Your handyman shop has it and they'll cut it to size for you. Then you glue it on and finish it off. Just look at this. There. What a difference. And you can do lots of things around the house just as easily with Formica Decorative Laminate. And this is the side to look for. Palladium Girls proves Sir Ronster Girdles with crossover panels let you move, keep you smooth. No matter how active you are, Sir Ronster's crossover panels let you move, keep you smooth. <laughs> this dreamy caftan mm -hmm. is one of the gorgeous things. I wish I had a hundred in of Bond them. Street. Come and get carried away. Oh yes. At Phoenix. Ooh. Woo! Whatever you're doing, Mum Roulette helps keep you cool, keep you dry. Bird's eyes, the name. I like to sail over just to see those faces when they're a tucking into bird's eye fish fingers. Only whole cuts of sea fresh cod. And only bird's eye make a butter as crunchy as that. So take a tip from Captain Bird's Eye. Give them bird's eye fish fingers. I was at school with Captain Bird's Eye, <laughs> whatever that proves. Comedy is a product which happily is plentiful in TV heaven. And the comedy show we've chosen for you from 1968 is of great interest. Not only does it feature a promising newcomer to telly, David Jason, but it also stars and was written by two-thirds of the future Monty Python team, namely Eric Idle, Terry Jones and Michael Palin. And with them are Denise Coffey and the Bonzo Dog Doodah Band. 
The show was named after the apologetic caption that TV companies used to display when they suffered interference. Do not adjust your set. Interesting to think that the shop scene there was probably the great-great-grandfather of the Monty Python parrot sketch. Incidentally, whatever happened to David Jason? After the break, a captivating episode of The Prisoner. Welcome back to TV Heaven. We've something very special to end with. An episode of one of the weirdest television shows ever. Only the one series was made, but the show has become cult viewing all over the world. It is, of course, The Prisoner, starring Patrick McGowan. The point about it as drama is that it seems to have no point. It's a triumph of style over content. Or to put it another way, it ain't what you do, it's the way that you do it. There's no real plot in our episode, just a string of wilder, wilder physical predicaments McGowan to get out of, and a finale involving a mad scientist played by Kenneth Griffiths, and not underplayed, I assure you. There's also a pretty girl who spends the film trying to kill our hero because she loves him or something. The fun begins, and it really is great fun right now. Come in, number six. Thank <laughs> you.